Coronation Street reveals aftermath Griff's attack on Spider. Coronation Street spoilers follow. Coronation Street has aired the aftermath of Griff's attack on Spider. Tuesday's hour-long episode contains scenes of extremist leader Griff ambushing Spider with a crowbar after figuring out that he wasn't loyal to their racist cause. The alarming turn of events took place when Griff planted fake information with Spider to see if it'd get out. Telling him the group planned to strike at Maria's Peace Festival planning session at the town hall. Related, Coronation Street teases surprising love interest for Damon Hay when Griff turned up at the town hall. Police swarmed the scene to check the boot of his car boot for a bomb U2014 but only found a card box box with tins of baked beans as part of the terror leader's stitch up. Just on our way to the food bank, group member Rees insisted. Spider was still desperate to warn Max off what was happening. Yet was ambushed by Griff at a supposed meeting point with the teenager always disappearing. Never getting your hands dirty. You're not just a grass. You're a copper, aren't you Griff sussed? Related, pregnant Jenny McAlpine hints her baby could have a Coronation Street inspired name Griff viciously assaulted Spider with a crowbar until Peter Barlow intervened and called the police. While Spider was being rushed into surgery for a bleed on his brain, Griff rallied his gang to regroup on the outskirts of Weatherfield. The group eventually settled on the dumping ground nearby, with Max horrified to see Dave Fairchild pulling up in the speed dial van. And Dave and Griff discussed a big plan for the following day tomorrow, I'll walk into that police station. Myself. And I'll be a hero, Griff cryptically told the terrified Max. What is Griff planning? Related. Coronation Street star Jack James Ryan reveals Jacob is devastated in new story Coronation Street airs on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 8pm on ITV1 and streams on ITVX. Read more Coronation Street spoilers on our dedicated homepage if you're concerned about someone who's expressing extremist or hateful views then ACT Early has further information. If you've seen or heard something that could potentially be related to terrorism, then report via www.governoruck at or call 0800-789-321. If you've been affected by racism and racist hate crime, then organizations including the Equality and Advisory Support Service, ease The Monitoring Group, Stand Against Racism and Inequality, Sari, and Stop Hate UK are among those which can offer help and support.